your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Storm damage from Missouri was widespread from the powerful storms that rocked through the state on Sunday afternoon and into the evening. You're seeing the damage left behind from wind gusts that exceeded 80 miles per hour Sunday afternoon. Dozens of homes were damaged. There were multiple areas without power in and around the St. Louis area. Interstate 55 had floodwaters and some drivers were even trapped in their cars for a time along and near I-55 in the St. Louis area. So again, near us, but not a, as big of an impact in our area as it was across areas just to the south of us. And it's further off to the south this morning where that boundary is located and where the severe weather will be impacting folks across portions of Mississippi and into parts of Alabama, down into the deep south of Louisiana and across into Texas. Still severe thunderstorm watches out there. The yellow shades are tornado watches this morning. You can see where that line of showers and storms is located right now, but moving away from us is all the energy this morning. And so what's gonna happen around here today is we had a little bit of rain in the overnight hours, but that's all gone. And now we're going to start to see that clearing taking place. And it's going to lead to what will be a pretty nice Memorial Day out there. All clear on our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. There's one little bitty cell showing up down on the southwest side of Indianapolis. There's a little bit of rain over around the Muncie area this morning. But here in our area, the rain has since pressed out. Temperatures are in the 60s. 63 currently Paris. Terre Haute, 61 Robinson, 62 in Vincennes. Now we're going to get a little bit of a northwest breeze coming in today. Right now those winds are at about 5 to up to 15 miles per hour. But as we get into the afternoon, the winds will be noticeable. So today we'll have a combination of sunshine with a northwest breeze. Very pleasant in the way that it feels out there this afternoon. And we'll keep that northwest flow coming into the day tomorrow as well. So again, just that drier push of more comfortable air in place through the middle of the week. I don't think we'll experience a change in wind direction. And so that keeps us generally dry. Now we do have a little disturbance that'll come in through the area tomorrow. It may try to produce just a little bit of rain later in the day on Tuesday. It's not a huge chance, but a little bitty chance that we have to mention. So again, other than that, we are talking about a relatively dry stretch of weather that will take us through the end of the week. It won't really be until in the weekend, later Saturday and into early Sunday that we may track a frontal boundary that tries to produce a little bit of rain into the upcoming weekend and temperatures will start to heat up by the weekend too. Today's high in the mid to upper 70s. Again, I think plenty of sunshine throughout the day today. We'll mix in a few clouds, but all in all, a very nice Memorial Day. Tonight, overnight lows drop in the upper 50s and in that extended forecast, you'll see temperatures staying with highs in the 70s and lows around that 50 degree mark right on through the end of the week with a dry Friday, but by later Saturday and into Sunday, we may have to dodge some showers as we start to heat up a little bit more by the weekend. Thanks, Julie.